Uh, Steve Barnett, been racing uh, about 32 years, uh, 50 years old this year. Well, I actually started out doing the late models. This is what I've always done. But uh, when I started racing, late models was like uh, I had a 69 Chevelle. So we used to go to the junkyard and knock the windows out and uh, put roll bars in them and you go racing, beef the suspension up. So I've been around and seen the evolution of dirt late models and seen it go from uh, the heavy old 69 Chevelle style cars to the wedge cars to uh, the smaller UMP cars and then to where we're at right now. So I, I've seen a lot and, and uh, living real close to CJ Rayburn who uh, really started revolutionizing dirt late models. I've, uh, I've seen all that change and uh, it's been real interesting for me. I could have wrote a book on this but I, but I just knew that back uh, when I started racing and uh, you know I, I probably forgot about uh, half of what I've seen anyway. Tony Stewart, uh, kind of a friend of mine, and uh, he got JD Byrider, and and, uh, and I kind of took care of a uh, car for Tony, and JD Byrider come along with me because uh, I'm on the road quite a bit, and uh, and that kind of helps uh, with the JD Byrider car sales and uh, CJ Rayburn race cars and Tony Stewart racing. So I don't know, it just kind of worked out that way. Uh, we've been pretty successful. We've had some uh, good times and had bad times, and. You know, it's like a deal, one night you're a hero and one night you're a zero, so so we just try to do the best we can. Uh, I think right now we're working on about 220, 225, right in that area, feature wins, and uh, we never did count heat race wins, but we got a bunch of those, and you know, they, they really, I guess, they're wins, but they don't count. The feature race is what really counts, and we're about 220, 225, and I don't know, we're kind of proud of that aspect of it. Got six Northern All-Star Championships, and that's where we're at tonight at a Northern All-Star race here at Brownstown. And, and I think we're probably in the top five of the Brownstown all-time win list. And so you can tell I'm getting up there in the years and don't know how much longer we want to do this. But as long as we're competitive and uh, we still got good sponsors and, and uh, we're just going to keep on plugging away. Well, I don't know. I always told people, you know, 10 years ago, probably when I got about 50, I'd probably quit. But now here I am at 50 and I feel like uh, I feel like I got a second wind or something, and we just won our last race here at Brownstown a couple weeks ago. So, I don't know, like I said, as long as I'm competitive, I'll probably, I guess I'm gonna say 55. Now that I'm 50, I'm going to 55. Then when we get to 55, we'll reevaluate. So, like I say, as long as we're competitive and these guys ain't beating, like Scott says, as long as they ain't beating us every single night, we'll be back. I mean, it's, uh, it's, it's pretty fun, and we've always had that competitive edge and competitive side to us. And, I guess that's what life's all about. You don't want to give up on that. Well, I, was, I probably like uh, being, you know, I live uh, about 45, 50 minutes from Brownstown Speedway and they have that annual Jackson 100. Uh, I'd have to say the Jackson 100 is probably my favorite race. And then you then you go to the Eldor for me. I mean, that's one of my sponsors on the racetrack, Tony Stewart there. So, you know, I got, I got to say probably the Dream and then the World 100. We did finish second in the Dream one time in 1997. And that was a pretty big thrill for us, although you say you run second, that's still not a win, but that was a pretty big race, and uh, and that, that's been one of our highlights, the, the dream race. Well, I kind of, you know, that's hard to say. All these guys are good, and uh, as long as you race, you know, they race me clean, I race them clean. Uh, I'd have to say probably uh, Billy Moyer's probably one of the good guys that I like to race with. He'll race you real clean, he races real hard, and he's pretty tough. But, uh, you know, like you said, there with Bloomquist, he's good, and around here you got guys like Don O'Neill and Tim Prince and I mean there's just you just like to race uh, with people who race you clean it really don't matter uh, I like to race with Tony when Tony gets to come with us uh, he's real fun we've had some one and two finishes over the years together and uh, I don't know I, I can't say I got a favorite I just like to race all these guys that race clean if they don't race clean then you know you don't like to race with them that way but most of them I'd have to say 90 percent of these drivers they all try to respect each other yeah, Tony's, uh, Tony's drove our car at Eldor and he's drove a couple other cars at Eldor. Uh, last year at uh, Eldor he got a third place finish early on and, and that was in a regular show and then he races in the Prelude where he's won that once and, and, and that was in uh, uh, somebody else's car and then he ran our car over there and run second in the Prelude once. So yeah, Tony likes Eldor, I mean obviously and that's, uh, that's his track, he owns it but uh, when he goes over there, he knows he's just another guy, and that's that's the way he approaches it. And he's there to try to do the best he can, and uh, he's pretty good there. He's pretty good everywhere he goes. 
you know, I'm not in the promoting end of it, and I don't really have a whole lot of ideals on what to do to make it better. Maybe if all these sanctioned bodies can get together and make all the tire rules the same and uh, pretty much got all the body rules the same. I mean, that's a, that's a big thing about anywhere you go in the United States, we got the same body rules. So it'd really be nice if they can get together and on all the tire rules. I know like uh, this weekend here, we've had uh, a couple questions on some tire rules and they ought to just get together and, and everybody have the same tire rule and get that over with. And that's the only thing I see that would make it better for the racer. But as far as uh, the TV stuff, you know, I think every promoter in the world is is trying to get the TV coverage, and uh, you just need some bigger sponsors maybe to step up to the plate and say, hey, this is a big thing. It's really a growing uh, sport. Uh, speed channels and all that, they've got a lot of races on TV now, and uh, it, it's getting bigger. I saw, like I said, I've seen this go from a back, uh, just a backyard bunch of old good old boys going dirt racing, and. And now I've watched it grow over the years, and it's it's really amazing. Uh, all these big haulers we got. Everybody used to have uh, dualies and a or a pickup truck and an open trailer, and now everybody's got fancy motorhomes and and two car enclosed trailers. And so it, it's really come a long way. I mean, it's uh, we've got a lot of a lot of uh, NASCAR guys now starting to like the dirt stuff. And I think guys like Ken Schrader and Tony Stewart they've helped with that. Uh, got uh, Bill Elliott's involved. You got. Uh, Bobby Labonte involved with uh, some guys, and uh, that's really helped. Uh, that's really helped our sport a lot by getting uh, getting the NASCAR guys involved in this stuff. Um, it, it probably cost uh, two hundred fifty thousand dollars a year just to uh, cover all the expenses. If you want to travel like you really need to to follow like the World Outlaws or something like that, and um, what we got here, we got uh, a, a young driver by the name of Joe Janowski is kind of teamed up with me this year working out of my shop and I'm bringing him to the racetrack in my hauler and, and trying to teach him the ropes on uh, dirt late model racing and uh, uh, he's, he's doing real well but uh, he's got a long way with a, a lot of learning curve and he's doing good and, and uh, I, I'm kind of enjoying doing that a little bit. I, I like to watch uh, guys you kind of help a little bit and, and see them get better and better as they, as they go along. But it, uh, like I say, it costs a lot of money to do this deal, and uh, you need a lot of sponsors, and you need to win a lot of races. So it's it, it's a pretty tough deal. Well, you got some good sponsors, so hey, good yeah. luck to you. Thanks a lot. Great, that's fine. So it wasn't too bad, huh? <laughs>